I'm Nancy Hamill. I consider myself a studio jeweler. That means that I design and then make my pieces. I got into jewelry by taking a jewelry class at my college, but I was going for an art education degree, not realizing at the time I might have been able to, even though it was 1963, a woman going into uh, a jewelry po program on the East Coast was probably a no-no at the time, but nevertheless, I went ahead and went for an art education degree, but still kept the jewelry in mind. And later on, when I finished my teaching, started collecting tools, used tools to make jewelry, started taking classes, uh, lots of different places to learn how to make jewelry. Went from uh, construction to uh, casting as well. So I do both of those things, intertwine both of them. The piece that I entered the show with is called Petite Diamonds. The uh, idea for the name came from the fact that we were entering pieces during baseball season, so that's the idea for the name. But the process is using 18 karat and 22 karat gold I learned this process from Mary Lee Hu, and uh, she's from the Seattle area, but she came to the Dallas Craft Guild to give a five-day workshop, which was, of course, lots of fun, and meeting and working with all these people that were in the same vein and as I was lots of fun and inspiring, and I learned the process that she taught us about weaving gold, high carat gold and I came home and developed my own approach to it. So that's the inspiration behind those pieces. Inspiration in general comes from oftentimes using uh, gemstones, semi-precious gemstones that you might not find just uh, everywhere and certainly maybe not in your uh, jewelry store downtown. So I go from there to other pieces that are silver and inspired with even arrowheads that I have found, honest to goodness arrowheads that I've found, even using um, cicada, ear, cicada wings for earrings once in a while, and other uh, things of that sort. What I do is I have several series started. One of the series is using petroglyph figures. I was able to see petroglyph figures on the walls outside of Moab, Utah on a trip once upon a time and so I have that series and I add to it as I do almost all the other series that I've got I add to every year so that's where all these sort of divergent uh, ideas come from.